Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Injustice 2 Annual 2. Now, as you know, this is meant to take place before the game Injustice 2, where, where basically Bruce Wayne is trying to pick up the pieces of what Clark and the regime have broken, and at the same time dealing with many paths and turns and all that. So it starts off how someone says, then... Too much was lost, too much was taken, too much was broken. And so you see Bruce busy on Brother Eye, and this is basically his way of coping after Alfred left. They both, Bruce and Selena, talk, start, I mainly talking, but then Brother Eye talks saying that there, that someone is trying to get the Superman, and he's like, prepare the transporter, what are we dealing with? How many? Advanced and droids full. Weapons? And so it turns out it's Martha Jonathan Kent who wants to see Clark. I get it they want to see Clark in show no, no hard feelings, but their son murdered half a dozen people and killed innocent people. He's like, Martha Kent? Hello, Bruce. I'm sorry, no one sees Clark, it's too dangerous. But mainly she decides to go, and Selena decides to go with her just in case. Donovan decides to, you know, let Bruce come along into his truck so they can have a drink together. So we introduced many years ago where Bruce is hosting this charity fundraiser for refugees and meets Selena there. But suddenly Bruce Wayne gets shot. Selina sees what's going on, rips off her stuff, goes through to see the window, and maybe you know, it hadn't cut her or anything. And so she goes to confront that it's dead shot, and he's like, Oh, what the hell? Ugh, I don't know what this is, lady, but I try to only kill who I'm paid for. So yeah, due to the fact that she's not wearing shoes, this makes her vulnerable as a giant lightning rod. So, pretty much we're introduced to the Daily Planet, where Lois points out the clock that Bruce Wayne had been shot and news came over the wire. So Clark decides to get into action and goes as Superman. So, after meeting Dick Grayson, it turns out that Bruce is alright and that they've got other heroes and people keeping a close eye and making sure everything's alright. So Selena and Clark decide on what to do about Bruce, and he says, more of a fortress. So they decide to take him to Smallville, but why not the Fortress of Solitude? But I get that it's a bit more, less obvious. And, like, and, and Clark introduces him, his parents to Bruce Wayne, and they're like, welcome. Let me take the, their luggage. I can manage, M Mr. Kent. Of course you can. Not trying to undermine you. All just being courteous. I love how with, like, Martha Kent, she brings up the fact that Lana used to sneak in to Clark's room when he was a kid. I like how he's thinking, oh, do you have to really bring that up? So, pretty much, Clark has to, you know, make sure Lois is alright. So we're introduced at the cafe where one of a guy called Benny shows up saying, I swear, they knew. I need you to breathe. Take a seat. I think they follow me. Did you get it? The way they were looking at me. Benny, did you get it? Y yeah. And he points out that, you know, he, you know, like, I shouldn't have joined them. I knew I, I just had to get out. And it turns out these two guys are skinheads. Now, obvious if you know about this, then you know they're white supremacists who believe that another group of people to be bad or believe that themselves to be superior. Even though that's even though that that's the 1950s treatment. And we have and people have to understand that all people are equal. And just as they're about to give Lois Lane some trouble, Lois Lane pretty much kicks, kicks her asses, and Nightwing and Batwoman show up, 
And they pretty much take Benny to somewhere safe. And we see Clark going to Lois saying, Oracle said y you made Batwoman Nightwing a bit redundant. What have you learnt? A w it's a white supremacist cell of intergang with a sizable wall chest. They're not about happy about Brucey's refugee temp. Why? Because they're Nazis, Clark, and they don't want people who look different from coming into the country. And Clark says that he will never understand them. And apparently, I can't blame Clark. The problem with white supremacists, they believe what they want to believe. They think themselves better than they should. Than the, they think themselves are better than they are. But in fact, all people are equal. And people deserve a second chance in a different country. So, we introduce late at night, where Jonathan and Bruce are talking. And he also reveals that he figured out Bruce Wayne's identity, but said that Clark wouldn't have told him because he, because he would take any secret to the grave. So we're introduced into the car, where presumably Bruce Wayne talking with Alfred. Diablo shows up to cause trouble, and turns out it's actually Superman. And we see Batman and Superman taking them on. And after this, Bruce Wayne congratulates Lois and Clark for helping them. And pretty much putting things right. So we're introduced to them, Clark's prison cell, where Martha in hugs Clark and Clark does the same. But they mainly have a word-to-word -word talk saying, Now, is it, how is it out there? The world, oh, it's getting along okay without you. And he says, where's Pa? But he says that he's talking with Bruce Wayne. So we see, like, th them talking and saying that they know, know that they're not proud of what Clark's done. But they have to understand that Clark needed a friend. And also the fact that, you know, that that we're all children and sometimes doing the wrong thing for the right reasons is understandable. So we see Batman talking with Clark and Clark is like, do you do you do this slight staring thing with everyone you put away? Because that might be why so many of them go mad, Bruce. So we see that Bruce is finally now accepting that, you know, I need to talk with Bruce, with Clark properly. And he says, I don't think I ever. I'm so sorry, Clark, about Lois. And he says that, you know, I'm sorry I wasn't, and I should have been better. But again, Bruce was doing the right things for the right reasons. Clark and the Justice League let things get to their heads, and Bruce was trying to make sure things things didn't go too far. But he does admit that things would have been a lot, a lot better had Lo Lois still been a part of it, and leaving the story as an end. So, what do I think? Definitely a good annual, and definitely a good story. You can tell that Bruce wants things to go back to the way they were, but sometimes wanting things to go back to what they were can be difficult. And I think Clark... I can understand that Clark is upset, but I think Bruce is more in the right because he's trying to make things right and trying to put things together. So this issue deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.